Welcome to Mr. Smith's Instrumental Music Lessons. Today, I will teach you proper playing position and rest position while standing and sitting. We will begin with rest position while standing. We start with our feet put together, toes and heels. Our violin is placed underneath our right arm with the bridge still showing. Then our right arm comes underneath the C bout and the bow comes back up. Our left hand is at our side. This is rest position. The song we use to practice our standing rest position goes to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Stars and sounds like this. One, two, ready, sing. Rest position, feet in line. Scroll out front, that's mighty fine. Check your bridge, cause it should be peeking out at you and me. Now it's time to take a bow. Ichi ni and san is how. Playing position while standing can be achieved using a five step process plus two additional steps for setting the left and right hand. The first step is to bring your left hand up to the violin on its upper bout. Step two would be to bring the violin straight out in front of you, still holding the violin on its upper bout. Step three is to put the violin out all the way to your left and look at the end button. Step four is to pull the violin into the side of your neck. And step five is to fall asleep down on to the shoulder rest and chin rest. If we're looking for steps six and seven, I adjust my left hand to be on the neck, and I bring my bow to be on the strings. This is proper playing position. In addition to the proper playing position while holding the violin, we must look at the playing position for our feet. I teach students to use a zip step position. That means to spread the toes and keep the heels together like this, and then step out with their left foot a short distance, shoulder width apart. You should be able to balance forward and backwards on your toes and heels, as well as side to side to find a good balance point. One of my good friends describes this as a rooted oak, rooted deep into the ground that sways with the wind. Rest position while seated looks very different than standing. We begin with our left hand holding the left upper bout of the violin and placing the end button on our left knee so that the violin is facing upwards with the bridge facing out. We hold the bow with our proper bow hold and place it on our right knee. I like to sit on the edge of the chair with my feet flat on the floor and I like to put the right corner of the chair between my legs so I'm facing out at a 45 degree angle. This allows me when I go to playing position to see my music better. Playing position while seated uses the same five to seven steps that I taught while standing. The difference is step one, putting your hand on the upper bout, is already achieved. So we immediately go to step two of bringing the violin straight out in front of us. Step three, extending the violin to our left and looking at the end button. Step four, bringing the end button into the side of our neck. And step five, falling asleep down onto the shoulder rest and chin rest. You will recall that step six brings our left hand out to the fingerboard and step seven brings the bow onto the strings. This is proper playing position while seated.
The beginning violin and violist should constantly be aware of their playing or rest position, checking that their feet are properly placed and the instrument is in the proper position. This completes our lesson on proper playing and rest position while standing or sitting.